Ready, go. Hey everybody, it's me, Victoria, and Murph, Tor and Murph. We are here for the Murph and Tor Show, episode three. Um, MNT, episode three, baby. So, never thought we'd get to episode three. We're proud to be here. Three episodes for us is a lot. So we're gonna start it off with a little bit of how are you guys doing? We are hope you're doing well. No, it's hard to be in the house this long, especially if you have children. Brian gets it. He's home with this channel every day. This girl every day. First question I had for you guys was, what are you gonna do when you get out of quarantine? I feel like it's on everyone's minds. And anyway, like spring's coming. So when spring comes in general every year, everyone's like, ooh, can't wait to get outside. Can't wait to do this. Can't wait to do that. Like you have all your plans. I want to have a rager. Huge rager with all our friends celebrating my birthday, Brian's birthday, he missed his, everyone's birthdays. It's just gonna be a big party. Our friend Andrew said this, we'll just have this huge party. You wanna do it, right? And we're all just gonna be saying happy birthday to each other, happy single de Mayo, happy uh, Memorial Day, probably. Who knows, probably won't be out for Memorial Day. Or if you probably be wearing this for Memorial Day. Seems pretty good. <laughs> you wanna wear it? You can repeat outfits. Um, so I feel like that's what I want to do when we get out of quarantine is throw a huge party. I feel like most people are going to be partying, like all those memes where you're just raging and going crazy. That's what's going to happen. I also wanted to talk about turning 30. Wasn't a big deal to me. Brian is already 30. The only thing that sucked was not being able to celebrate it how I wanted, so I was a little sour that day. Brian kind of was like, Tor, what's wrong? I was like, all upset. I'll tell you the quick story. It's kind of funny. So. Had Brian go to the store, I wanted avocados. I wrote it on the list. I wanted to make beans, rice, and avocados for lunch, try to be a little healthier, because just been eating pizza almost every day. So get home, I look in the fridge, and like my 30th birthday morning, and I'm like, Brian, did you get avocados? And I was already kind of in a bad mood. And Brian's like, no, I'm gonna get them. <laughs> and I started to cry. <laughs> so, I started to cry and Brian's like, are you crying? I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was really because of me turning 30, not being able to see my friends. I was getting all these messages like, wish we could hang out, wish we could be together for your 30th, not seeing you able to see my family. So it was a compilation of everything, not the avocados really, but I don't know what that's called when it's like something that you cry over, but it's not because of that. Is, that a, is there something for that, Brian? I don't know. I think there is a word for that. That was my birthday. Got a lot of stuff. People dropped things off. Wine. My cousins made me a little sign. It was cute. Cute day. Birthdays are overrated, but made it through. 30 years on the planet. I'm grateful. Are you grateful? You grateful that my mom that 30? Don't worry about. Here, want your phone? Want your phone? I think she wants her segment. Oh yeah, let's just cut the Murph segment. Give her a little opportunity to have a break here. And over to the living room for Murphs. Segment. ice cream brings smiles on thousands of faces in the Bristol area and with three locations Connecticut and one in California we are sure to bring plenty more smiles once we turn this COVID frown upside down. Now offering ice cream through DoorDash I try a specialty flavor like Chunky Ella Funky Crazy Eddie or Hawaiian Cow. If you're feeling extra adventurous Rich Farm. Oh that was bad. I Specialty flavor like Chunky Yellow Funky, Crazy Eddie, or Hawaiian Cow if you're feeling adventurous. 
Rich Farms, the best ice cream on both sides of the river. Tasting is next episode. Whoa, let me just try some on the camera here. I'm hungry. Okay, guys. I've actually tried this ice cream, so it's so good. Yummy. Here. <clears throat> cold. <laughs> I wonder if you can see her face. On to the next segment. Yeah. I had a deja vu moment though, and Brian asked me what I thought deja vu was. So check out the segment. That's the background behind it. This segment is called What Do You Mean? What do you mean? Deja vu. Oh, yes, but you wanna say no. What do you mean? Okay, sorry. Deja vu is the topic. Deja vu. Deja topic. vu. Yep, go ahead. What does it mean? What does it mean? First, give a quick description of what I you think. I think it's when, deja vu is when you have a flashback. You have a feeling that something happened before. Why do we get deja vu? Yeah. Like, you, what, what happened the other day that you saw? I was like putting the trash by the door, nothing crazy. And I everything aligned perfectly. Like I think what Murphy was doing, like the radio, like everything, all the noises, the sun, everything was perfect to make me think that that moment happened before. It got a weird sensation like this happened. So I think it's really, there's alternate realities or other universes. And we have other, like, there's another me and Murphy living in another universe. And when something yeah. happens very close, we kind the memories or the moments hit, and that's what deja vu why it happens. <laughs> what do you think happens? I think I had already done something already, and I just think that it's happening again, but I just forgot the first time. So you're just going with the logical like answer. I'm going yeah. with like interstellar answer. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think happens? Do you ever get deja vu? She's crazy right now. She will not stand still. Murph. Murph, you wanted to be in the spotlight. Wait, maybe she poops. No. Murph, big segment in the news. In the news. A little bit around coronavirus, but uh, esports was growing popular yeah. before COVID. Now, e more popular than ever. Is esports the store? No, that's not a store. Store. That's called um. EB Games or something. No, what's the what's the game store? GameStop. GameStop. If you were a professional gamer, what game would you play? Like, what would be your go-to game that everybody would tune into the streams and watch you? I've only played a few games in my life, but I used to be obsessed with Call of Duty. But I don't even know if it's popular anymore. So I'd have to pick a game I'd be good at. Yeah, like you have to make a living. <laughs> um, I guess I'd have to go with like Mario Kart. <laughs> like, I'm not good at Mario Kart, but I think I could get good. Whereas Call of Duty, I can't get good at. Alright, Mario Kart. What would you do? I would play maybe an old school game like Tetris. No, I Tetris. suck at Tetris. It's boring. No one's gonna watch you play friggin' Tetris. You'd be surprised. <sighs> I'd be sleeping. Alright, another new article. Christmas lights are back. People putting Christmas lights up to spark cheer in their neighborhoods. Yeah. When are you putting your lights up? I have lights on the porch. Yeah, but like Christmas lights, you gonna go all out? No, maybe in the new house I'll put them. Like icicles? No, I don't like Snowmen in the yard? I don't like Christmas lights. I like Christmas lights. I don't really love, icicles can go kill themselves. They're terrible, tacky, get rid of, if you have icicles on your house, rip them down. People will leave their Christmas lights up for a year, take them down and wreaths if you have them up for a year and they're brown and dirty and you walk in that door every day, this is, I can't even, I'm so glad you brought this up because I can't stand it so much that I see these wreaths and I want to go take them down for these people. I don't get it. You, they live there, obviously. There's a reef there that's brown and dingy. Take it off. You can toss it in your yard. It looks better than being on the door. I just spit on Murphy's head. Um, but yeah, wow. take your Christmas stuff down by February. I mean, that's even a long shot. I'll give you January, but after that, PSA. public service announcement, announcement, take your Christmas lights and Christmas decor down, baby. Doesn't look good. All right, I got one more. Okay. Coronavirus did not stop a British man from running an outdoor marathon. Wow. He said if his tweet, <laughs> he said if his tweet got 10,000 retweets, he would run a marathon in his backyard. He did it in his yard? His backyard is 20 
feet. It's a little, you got a little fence. He would he run in a circle? He went back and forth. I've done that in our yard, but never a marathon. I mean, maybe after I trained, I would do it if I was a marathon runner. It, I mean, I think people were training for marathons and then this happened and it sucks. Like you're doing all this training and then you can't do your race. So I get it. I think that's awesome. Get some exercise in, stay fit, stay healthy. Everyone's got to stay fit and healthy for this quarantine. So get on out there, run your marathon in your backyard. And uh, is that the end of the show? All right, guys, that's pretty much it for us. Murphy's not in the mood right now. She's done with it. She didn't get her, I don't know what she didn't get, but she didn't get something because she ain't happy. So we're going to head out. Hope you enjoyed Murph and Tour Show episode three. We had a lot of fun. We hope to see you back for episode four. Oh, I wanted one more thing to drop to tell you. This is good. I made new cards. See you soon. What's up? Miss you. I make cards. I make prints. I'm just shouting out myself here. You gotta, who else is going to rep you but yourself? You got to promote yourself. If you're missing someone so bad that you need to send them a card and feel like you have to, these are great. People cheer, cheer them up. Miss your cute face. Who wouldn't want to get a miss your cute face card in the mail? Like, you open the gift, you open the mail and you get this and it's signed by your, your grandkid or something, like making your grandma day. Even put a little picture of yourself in there with that. Cause they don't have FaceTime, these grandparents, a lot of them. Some do, but some don't. Imagine not having FaceTime and you don't get to see anybody for months. Send them a card with your picture in it. They'll love it. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going. Is that it? Is that the end of our show? Are you ready for the goodbye song? I think uh, she wants more ice cream. I know, she loves ice cream. You don't get these slides from no, from no ice cream. She's an oatmeal baby. We feed her oatmeal every meal, so every time she eats fruit or vegetables, she gets oatmeal mixed with it, so. I think that's a mistake. We're going to start calling our meals. This is Murphy Meals. All right, you ready for the goodbye song? We didn't do it last time, so we'll do it this time. I said goodbye, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye, farewell until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together in the box. If you didn't know where that was from, it's from Out of the Box, Disney Channel, circa 90. Circle circa 1998 or something. I think I was eight when I watched it. So, all right, I'm out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. If we're still in quarantine, I'm sorry, but I think we are. So we got a lot more weeks of it for our show.